Today I'm going to talk to you about five signs that potentially indicates that you will die in five years. Now, I'm not here to scare the shit out of you, but I think there's very good information today and you should know. Most of my audience is over 60, 55, 60, 65, and uh, it's very important for you to know this. It's a bit serious, I know, but it's incredibly important to talk about. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist treating diabetes and its complications every day. We are going to discuss five signs that indicate you might be facing a serious health issue. Now, we're going to talk about end-stage renal disease and chronic kidney disease, which can have a significant impact on your lifespan. Now, I will first talk about those signs, and then I will back it up with scientific research citations for more detailed information for those nerdy audience, because I know you are there and you ask questions and where is the study. So you can find all these study links in the description in this video. But before we dive in, make sure you hit the subscribe button, right? And notification bell so you never miss out on our health tips and discussions. All right, let's get into it. The first sign that I want to highlight is excessive fatigue. Now, we all feel tired from time to time, right? I mean, who doesn't? But if you're experiencing persistent and unexplained exhaustion, could be a real, real red flag. Now, end-stage kidney disease or end-stage kidney failure, for example, can be a cause of buildup of toxins in your body, leading to fatigue that just doesn't seem to go away, no matter how much rest you get. Now, you may think, I don't have kidney disease, right? Well, let me tell you a fact. CKD affects up to 16% of the population worldwide, chronic kidney disease up to 16%. In developed countries like the US and the UK, CKD is the most commonly attributed to diabetes and blood pressure. But less than 5% of patients with early CKD report awareness of their disease. So if you are watching this video, you probably have some degree of kidney dysfunction. Look at your GFR right now in your labs. If it is below 90, that GFR, then you have some kidney disease. If you have protein in your urine, like microalbuminuria or albumin creatinine ratio is more than 30, you have a kidney disease. Now, these signs we talk typically develop towards the end stage kidney disease, but I have a lot of patients, you'll be surprised that they almost, they're almost there and they don't even know that they have kidney disease. So that's why you have to watch out for these symptoms. Now, difficulty concentration, for example, that's another sign to watch out for. It may sound like, hey, I'm just getting old, whatever, right? But if you really find yourself to focus on tasks that used to be easy for you, that could be really a sign that the toxins affecting your brain function as a result of kidney failure. So if you are experiencing brain fog a lot, finding it hard to stay on top of things mentally, it is worth getting that checked out or asking your doctor, hey, How's my kidneys doing, right? Well, swelling is another one, especially in the legs and ankles and feet. These are important signs to pay attention to. So when your kidneys aren't functioning properly, or that can happen with the heart disease as well, like heart failure, but especially with the kidney failure, well, of course, you cannot remove the excess fluid from your body effectively. That's going to lead to excessive water in your body. And as a result of gravity taking over, you're gonna end up with edema. And most diabetics have circulation problems anyway, which makes it easier for that to happen. So if you notice swelling that doesn't seem to go away, it is time to see a doctor. Now, if you see a redness and some tenderness, etc., that could be a different situation. If it is on one side of your leg, that could be deep venous thrombosis, clotting and stuff like that. So that's even more serious, but I'm talking about you know, symmetrical swelling in your legs. Now, shortness of breath is another symptom that could not be ignored. It can indicate a heart disease, lung disease, but also kidney function. Now, most of the time, our body does not give signs unless you're going, you know, unless the organ is really failing, like heart failure, for example, kidney failure. But when your kidney function declines, again, excess fluid will build up in your lungs because your heart is having difficult time for the excess fluid to be pumped out. And when the heart is not pumping out well, it's gonna back up to the lungs. And that's gonna make it difficult for you to breathe. Now, if you find yourself feeling out of breath, even with minimal exertion, yeah, that's pretty serious. Get that checked out as soon as possible. 
Now, number five, changes in urination. Now, of course, all of us, as we get older, especially guys, get prostate enlargement. They urinate more frequently. I don't want to freak you out. But if you are urinating more frequently recently and you don't have any prostate problems and that's happening especially at night, you know, then you have to be careful. Changes in the urine color. Foamy urine, for example, we talked about this in a previous video. These could be indicators of kidney problems. Now, I'm not saying that every foamy urine has a kidney problem, but no, it could be. So you just have to be careful and observe. If you notice any of these changes, don't hesitate to see a healthcare professional. Now, at this point in this video, I'm going to get more scientific for my science-oriented audience, right? Because a lot of people nowadays want to know the studies, which is great. Now, let's talk a bit more about the end-stage kidney failure, also known as, you know, ESRD, which is the final stage of CKD where, again, the kidneys are functioning less than 10%. If you look at the GFR, typically less than 10 in that case. Now, unfortunately, someone reaches this stage, their expected lifespan is often only around five years without dialysis or a kidney transplant. It is a sobering reality, but uh, one that highlights the importance of early detection, right, and intervention. So if you or someone you know is at risk for kidney disease, which most of you are as a diabetic patient, right, and if you have any of these symptoms, ask your doctor. You know, because the, your doctor may be busy dealing with other things. They may not pay attention to the early signs of the kidney disease, or even sometimes at the late stage, they may attribute your symptoms to something else. So you have to be your own advocate and discuss with your doctor without making them feel inadequate though. So you have to make sure that you're respecting your doctor as well. Now let's talk about some research, right? The research published in the Journal of American Family Physician highlights fatigue as a common symptom of chronic kidney disease. Again, don't just say that you're old. If your kidney function is declining, which is true that it declines as we get older, but it's a lot faster when you have diabetes. Not toxins in your body will build up. It's gonna lead to fatigue and weakness. Now we talked about difficulty concentrating. A study published about this in the Journal of Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation discusses the cognitive impairment associated with CKD. Now, the researchers found that the individuals with CKD often experienced difficulties with attention, concentration, and memory problems due to various factors because they may end up with vascular disease or accumulation of uremic toxins or other toxins. National Kidney Foundation states that when it comes to swelling or edema, it's a common symptom of kidney failure, so don't underestimate that. As the kidney function declines, our body retains the excess fluid, leading to swelling in the legs or ankles and feet. Now, when it comes to shortness of breath, a study published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, shortness of breath is, again, a frequent com complaint among individuals with advanced CKD. Like I said, fluid overload, pulmonary edema, anemia sometimes, right? Which is fairly common, not sometimes, actually, more often than not. These are common factors contributing to shortness of breath in this population. Now, early detection and management of these symptoms are crucial in improving quality of life. A lot of times when I mention people that, hey, you have anemia, you have this, you have that, people look at me as if like they have never heard of it. So look at your labs, discuss with your doctor. If your doctor says it's okay, don't dig deeper because sometimes patients will look at their labs and they start reading things on the internet and they suddenly behave like doctors, which doctors don't like that, and rightfully. Now, a study published in the International Neuro Journal highlights the importance of recognizing changes in the urination patterns too as an early sign of kidney disease. Like I said, increased frequency, difficulty urinating, changes in the urine color or consistency, can indicate an underlying kidney dysfunction. Early detection and intervention will help prevent, delay kidney disease progression. Simple as that, right? So the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive Kidney Diseases, NIDDK, they have a nice website, you can check them out, provides data on the prognosis of end-stage kidney disease. According to their research, again, the median survival for individuals with end-stage kidney disease without dialysis or kidney transplantation is approximately just six months to a year. That's it. Now, with dialysis, if you go to dialysis, the median survival improves around five years. Median, which is, I mean, you can definitely make it to 10 years. I'm not saying you can't, but we're talking about 
in general, five years is the average on dialysis. Now, that highlights the severity of the condition and importance of the timely intervention. Now, in conclusion, recognizing the signs and symptoms of kidney disease, particularly the end-stage kidney failure, is very important. And don't wait until then, right? So do something when you see something wrong in your kidneys. Don't wait too long because you're not going to have symptoms until it's too late. Again, pay attention to fatigue, difficulty concentration, swelling, shortness of breath, and changes in the urination pattern as the potential indicators of severe kidney dysfunction. And that wraps up our discussion today, but I want you to remember something. Your health is invaluable, so always listen to your body and to your doctor. Don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor if you have any concerns, and write comments below. I'll respond to you the best I can. You're not my patient, so I don't know you most of the time, so I may not give you very specific answers. So, but I'll do my best to give you some general information. And having said that, please give a thumbs up on this video, share with others, and remember to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.